Ion channels control the movement of ions across the neuronal membrane. These tiny anatomical structures make neurons excitable. Your goals for learning are to understand what ion channels are, to learn where ion channels are located, to understand how ion channels function. Here's what you need to know. The composition of a typical cell membrane. The definition of ion. That the distribution of ions across the cell membrane causes the inside of a cell to be slightly negative compared to the outside. To see definitions of terms, click the bold red words. Recall that the cell membrane is a lipid bilayer in which large protein molecules, called integral proteins, are embedded. Some of the integral proteins contain watery pores called ion channels, through which charged particles, or ions, can pass. Ion channels control the movement of ions through the neuronal cell membrane. The channels are selective, either passive or active, regionally located and functionally unique. In the next several pages, we will examine each of these four characteristics. Ion channels are selective. They allow some ions to pass through and prevent the passage of others. Channel selectivity depends on the charge on the ion, that is, whether it is positive or negative, on the size of the ion, and on how much water the ion attracts and holds around it. Click and drag each of the marked ions to the opening of each channel. Drag ions outside the cell to outside openings. Drag ions inside the cell to inside openings. Ion channels are either active or passive. Active channels have gates that can open or close the channel. Passive channels, also called leakage channels, are always open, and ions pass through them continuously. We see passive channels here. We will look at active channels on the next two pages. Active channels have gates that can open and close the channel. Some active channels, called voltage-gated channels, have gates that are controlled by voltage. Recall that cells have slightly more positive ions on the outside of their membranes and slightly more negative ions on the inside. This difference produces a voltage, called the membrane potential, across the cell membrane. We can measure the membrane potential and display it on a voltmeter. Click the voltmeter to see the membrane potential. When a neuron is at rest, voltage-gated channels are closed. During an action potential, the voltage across the membrane changes, causing voltage-gated channels to open and close. Ions move through the open channels. Click the sodium or potassium button to see how the channels open during an action potential. Watch the ions move and the membrane potential change on the voltmeter. Now open the other channel.
Now open the other channel. We've seen voltage controlled gates. Now let's look at channels that have gates controlled by chemicals. In particular, by neurotransmitters such as acetylcholine and GABA. When these neurotransmitters bind to chemically gated channels, they cause the channels to open, thereby permitting ions to move across the membrane. Click and drag each neurotransmitter to its respective channel to see the action of chemically gated channels. Ion channels, passive, chemically gated, or voltage gated, are regionally located in the neuron. Click each channel type to see its location. Passive channels are located in the cell membrane all over the neuron, on dendrites, the cell body, and the axon. For the most part, chemically gated channels are located on the dendrites and cell body of the neuron. For the most part, voltage-gated channels are found on the axon hillock all along unmyelinated axons and at the nodes of Ranvier in myelinated axons. Ion channels have specific functions which are suggested by their locations on the neuron. Click each type of channel to reveal its function. Passive channels are responsible for the resting membrane potential. We will learn about the resting membrane potential in the next section of this module. Chemically gated channels are responsible for synaptic potentials, the incoming signals to the neuron. We will learn about synaptic potentials in a subsequent module. Voltage-gated channels are responsible for generation and propagation of the action potential, the outgoing signal from the neuron. We will learn about the action potential in the last section of this module. Here's a summary of what we've covered. Integral membrane proteins containing watery pores form channels through which ions move. Some ion channels, called passive or leakage channels, are always open. Some ion channels have gates that open and close, permitting ions to pass through them only under certain conditions. Regionally located ion channels are responsible for the resting membrane potential, synaptic potentials, and the generation and propagation of the action potential.